Hello. Hi, my name is Trina. And today what I'm going to do is show a video for beginning weavers. Or for someone who wants their hair weaved and don't know which pattern that they should choose. So, it's like, it's a lot of patterns out there. But you should choose the pattern that's bare, best for your hair type. So, this is the pattern that some people do. I'll show you this one. It goes back from here. And they just braid it back. Then braid it back. Or track it back. Which I do like this pattern a lot. And then track it back. And then here is a part and you can have the hair come over to this side like this. And then it's a track here and this hair goes over to this side like that. So this would be like connected here and track this back and track this back. Then it would be a track here, a track here. And one here and maybe one here if you need one now this is a great tracking pattern but not if you have thick hair if your hair is thick once you get all these braids to the back it's gonna be a big thick knot here because you're gonna have to connect all these braids you're going to have to connect all that. So if your hair is shoulder length or really, really thick, this is not the pattern for you. This is not the pattern for you. Like for my hair, <clears throat> my hair is thin and it's growing back. But um, this pattern is good for me. But if your hair is thick, I'm telling you, don't do this pattern. Because when you go to sleep at night, it's going to be this big pile of hair right here and you're going to lay on that and it's going to be very uncomfortable and it's going to be sold and then it's just going to be a waste of time and a waste of money. The pattern I recommend if you have thick hair is the horseshoe pattern and that's the pattern that I show in all my videos. So the horseshoe pattern starts like this. You can start here and bring this hair here and then braid down. Then you start here, connect this braid to this braid and come over to here and stop and braid down. Then you start here, connect this braid. No matter what the length is, you can connect this no matter how long or how thick you can connect this so then you come around to here then you braid down however long the length of your hair is <clears throat> and then you come here above the ear you pick this up on your way no matter how long it is because um, that will blend and lay flat to the scalp. You come to here, the middle of the head, and you stop and you braid down. Then you come along above the ear and come to here. And you um, take this one and you connect it to this one. No matter how long the hair is, you'll be able to connect it. Then once you connect it, you'll have a one string hanging down. So then you come and your next track will be here. And you stop here. You pick this one up. You can pick it up here. You can pick it up here. Or you can pick it up here. 
and you come here, and you come here, you pick this track up, and then you connect it, and you only have one. I leave the outer perimeter of their hair out. All this will be the outer perimeter left out to cover. Then, one more track here. You stop here. A track here. You pick this one up and connect it to this one. And you'll have one here and you connect that. All this is laying flat on the scalp. It's no big bulk at the back. There's a difference in what tracking pattern that you use. And if you're going to a beautician, you should ask them what tracking pattern that they're going to use. So to continue, we're coming here. We'll come around. We're going to pick this one up and connect it. Come here, come around. Pick this up and connect it. Then, it's a pattern here. That's why these is called horseshoe tracks. Because it looks like a horseshoe. And then, it's the one here. One here. And it just depends on the size of their head or whatever is going on. You can make a little one here and connect this. This can blend in with this. And then you leave this part out. All this is left out. This is their hair. And this will cover all of this. This will cover all of this. All of this will be covered. You can even double it. You know, once you put the synthetic or um, human hair on, you can double the tracks if you want. And that's the tracking pattern. Other than this pattern, you're going to have two different results for two different patterns. That's my um, video on which pattern is best to choose for weaving for your hair type. My name is Trina. I appreciate you guys watching. And I hope you learned something from this. And maybe you could email me and tell me. Or if you have any questions for me, um, you could just email me and ask me. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Hi, my name is Trina. And I'm going to show you guys how I color my hair. So, <clears throat> I have some activator here and some developer. Inside the cup, I already have some um, conditioner. You can also put 30 volume peroxide in here or 40. Stir it up real good. Just like this. And then let's take this side. And you part it off, separate it, and only do the tip. Part it off, separate it, 
And then you only do the tip. The part that's not covered. Hi. This is Trina. Now it's time for the shampoo. You can shampoo it between two or three times and rinse it with cold water. Just rest my hair out.
My name is Trina, and I'm going to show you guys how I color my hair. So, <clears throat> I have some activator here and some developer. Inside the cup, I already have some um, conditioner. You can also put... 30 volume peroxide in here or 40. Stir it up real good. Yeah. And you part it off, separate it, and only do the tip. Part it off, separate it, and then you only do the tip. The part that's not covered.
This is Trina. Now it's time for the shampoo. You can shampoo it between two or three times and rinse it with cold water. Just rinsed my hair out. 